I can't complain at all. I'm blessed. Move your mic closer to you for me, please. Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. We're here. That's right. That's right. And then we got Miss Delta in the building. I'm good. This is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And Miss Asia. How Hello. are you? Good beautiful? morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, y'all? I can see y'all on Facebook tonight. Boom. Hey, do it. Boom. Hey. Hey. Y'all know we can't never get on this damn um Facebook, right? Right. But I see y'all. So hey Sherman, I see you. Thank you for tapping in. I appreciate you and I love you. Um we got Bank in the building. Y'all already know he in here. Um ready to dodge our ass as soon as we call on his name, but we're gonna do it anyway at some point in the show, right? So Okay, tonight, uh, Badass1584 said, Hey, Miss Delta and Asia, much love to you both. Mm, well, much love, love to him, too. Ooh, that's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, well, my bad. It's our favorite. We love her bad. She, you see, she, she Miss Delta over here trying to get frisky. I'm mean, just <laughs> Already. She's going all Already. wrong. Already. Hey, Leafy 393 thank you for tapping in. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. So, look, y'all, we've been having a real deep conversation for the past couple of weeks about loving a black man properly. And we just, when we had that discussion, we, we discovered we didn't know a lot of shit, right? We the, the women, we didn't know what the hell we was doing. A lot of people, mm -hmm. even married couples, they, they had to be honest and say, I don't know. Okay. I'm still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny to hear those answers because... As a black woman who loves black men, I'm thinking, we know this shit. We got You're right. This. <laughs> we got this in the bag. We, we don't know nothing answer. else. We fucking know How this. I love a black right? man. <laughs> we didn't know a damn thing, did we? We was all jacked up up in here. <laughs> so then we flipped it because we wanted to know, okay, well, if we don't know, there's a strong possibility these men don't know either, right? Mm -hmm. So then we went into the subject of how to love a black woman. Right? Mm -hmm. And so we did that last week. And now that we have King in here to kind of help Bankhead out a little bit, we gonna, <laughs> we gonna close that segment off. We gonna close oh, that segment off tonight. Uh, hold we on. Gotta... Hold <laughs> on. Last week we killed y'all niggas. Uh, that was I did. I did. I we was all we had. No, no, no. No. No, I don't know. Not, not, not. I'm joking. Okay, well, I don't think <laughs> that, that's all right. Had they, we, I'm going to give props where props was due. They mm -hmm. was in here getting it in on us. They was yes, doing that, right? Them. But mm -hmm. that don't mean that they shit was bad. No, because we need to go that. to the survey because the survey is what killed us. Right. Because we have some good answers for that yes, survey. Yes, we did. And um, Leafy393 said um, some black women don't want love. You better know that's the truth. Mm -hmm. They scared of it. You better know that's the truth. Um, Badass1584 said, I picked me up a book called The Five Love Languages. That's a good book. Because, man, that's what she said. Mm -hmm. 
Um, some of y'all uh, might want to read that. That sounds like a good book to read. The mm-hmm. Five Love Languages. Read mm-hmm. that, y'all. And Bankhead said that all of us black women oh, no. need to go watch, what's that shit called? What'd you say? Um, um, Kanye. Donda. It was the Donda. oh, yeah, the oh, Kanye, Kanye thing. Uh, Netflix, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, on the uh, Kanye documentary on Netflix. Yeah, to, he said yeah. we need to watch that so we can learn some things from him. From mom. the mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so y'all know I ain't seen it yet, right? If any of y'all seen it and y'all agree with him that we can learn some things, I need y'all to drop some hearts up in here or drop a comment or something and let me know, okay? DJ Extreme, Extreme, I see you. Thank you so much for tapping in. So, King, now that we got you in the building, right? Mm -hmm. And and see, I'm finna love this conversation tonight. Not that I don't always love the conversation, but King is um, very outspoken like me, right? And so even if it's an unfavorable answer, he's gonna give it. You get what I'm saying? And he don't really care what the what the majority Massive. is going to think or feel about it, you know? So I'm, I'm really interested in this conversation tonight and hoping that we could um, learn some new things that maybe we didn't know. Because we still think that men, they know and just don't execute. That's what we think as women. I don't know if y'all knew that. Mm. But we think y'all know exactly what the fuck y'all be doing and what needs to be done. But you choose what you want to do. When you want to execute, that's what we believe. I Am I? It. Are we right in thinking that, King? Yeah. In a, in okay. a way, in a way, in a way. I mean. Like, All right, y'all. I got a. It's a give and a take. You feel me? But <laughs> you there? Okay. Stop the show right there. We'll take that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. saying it, it's a give and a take. You feel me? Like from a man point of view, we we love y'all. We want to love y'all, but sometimes the love y'all won't ain't love. You feel me? It's not love. It's what okay. you've seen in the movies. It's what you've seen ah. growing up in the cartoons. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. And the love that we want is simple. We just want you to just, just shut up sometimes and ride with us. You feel oh me? Like, my God. I'm just saying. like, not, 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 It don't got to be in those words, but that's what it is. You feel me? Like, Of course, as your man, I'm not going to be like, shut up. But that's what it is. Sometimes we just want you to just just pipe down, just chill. You feel me? Like just, just ride with me. You feel well, I me? got a problem like, with that. Just ride with me. You feel <laughs> yeah, me? Like you want to go eat? I want to go eat too. You feel mm-hmm. me? I don't know. I want to make a plan though. You feel me? Like let's just get in the car and go. And as we're going, you feel me? The plan will come. You feel me? But y'all want us to be so on. Oh well, we're gonna go to El Cholo at eight o'clock. No, it don't go like that sometimes. Sometimes I just want to take you to a movie. Sometimes I just might want. That's what spontaneous is. You feel me? Y'all say y'all want a spontaneous man, but when we try to be spontaneous. Y'all looking for a plan. You know where that comes from? <laughs> from the movies. From where? Lack of trust and being let down so many times. I mean, come on now. That is you, true. You, you can't really? blame because it. I'm not blaming nothing. I'm telling you where it comes from. Some women can actually lay it down, even if that's the reason. Because you can identify that's the reason. Just because mm-hmm. it's the reason don't mean that's how you should act. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear with those two things. Mm-hmm. But it is the reason. Even in the women that are like, okay, I'll do it. On the inside, our heart is beating. We nervous. And then when it comes through, you're like, okay. All right, well, let me ask you a question, right? Y'all know men go through things, right, too? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, Absolutely. Then. Well, we all got trust issues. All of us, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So the point is, if me and you just starting off right now, mm-hmm. them old trust issues don't even matter until I show you that it's a reason for you not to trust Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So, I mean, that's... That shouldn't even be brought up. Because I haven't done anything. You telling me about what your exes did. I'm not going to bring up what my exes you know did. Human, right? Everything we do is dependent on something. But you have to identify so, it to know to fix it. Okay, time out. So y'all. I agree. Badass1584 said, real talk, Asia. I got five less talk said, pipe down, let's be comfortable. Women, listen to respond and not listen to understand. Oh, You know what? I agree with you to listen a certain twice, speak extent. Once. I agree with you to a certain extent because that's not all women. No. Most women, yes. yes. I would agree that that's the majority of women. Yes. But a lot of women, a lot of women that is quick to respond to you is because she already sick and tired of right. this repetitive excuse or right. this repetitive conversation. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So I fuck what you're saying, hear me for a change. Right. Because I've been listening all this time and it ain't working. It, you it ain't worked. came through. You ain't delivered what right. the fuck be coming out your mouth. So now hear me. 
You the hush. Fish. You shut the fuck up. Hey, but look, look, as a man, listen, 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 listen. Can I give her some a bombs? Man, as, hey, give her some bombs. Because as a man, <laughs> a man do got to understand that too. Like I said in the song, it you know, I got to know when to shut up and when to love you. You feel me? Like, yeah. it's not always about what we got to say. You feel me? Y'all have a point of view too. Mm-hmm. And it's all about understanding. You feel me? Right. So, mm-hmm. as a man, sometimes, a, a lot of men didn't grow up seeing men love women. Yeah, that's true. So as a man who's trying to love a woman, you're learning and at the same goes. time that you're learning. You feel me? I'm, we both learn at the same time. We're in the same class. Mm-hmm. You feel me? No one's more expertise is, is better than the next. Okay. So I got to move at your level the same way you got to move at mine. Right. But it's still got to be a, a, a give and take. And you can't put what other people have done on me the same way I'm not going to put what other people have done on you. You right. feel me? Like... Right. I, if I meet you, this is brand new. I got to trust you. Like, when I go buy shoes, I know that Gu- the last Gucci's that I bought was uncomfortable. But I'm not going to be in the store like, um, uh, these these, these going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to trust in that I like the shoes and hopefully they're comfortable, you know? So, and we got to treat people the same way we treat everything else in the world. We trust everything else. Okay, let me ask you this because I'm curious. Um, what percentage of men... And, and it don't even have to be an exact percentage, but is it high or low, okay? What percentage of men is really going into a relationship with us or even coming into a friendship with us without bringing those um, insecurities? What man is really doing that? Because I have yet to meet a man that don't know how to bring that. Uh, um, a real man? But there's not too many real men. Yeah, and y'all expecting real, y'all expecting real men... Mentality, thinking real men ways out of people who ain't really real men. They haven't had that training. They haven't had that expertise. They haven't had those experiences to 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 know how to do that. You feel me? So, a perfect example. When you're in your twenties, you don't really know much about love. Right. You feel me? It's, it's all been puppy love. You feel right. me? You just been out here wild and doing your thing. As for women, as for women, y'all have more experiences than men as far as people being in your face trying to get at you. But a lot of men, they talk like they players. Right. But they ain't. They, listen, listen. Every man want to be a player. Every man want to talk like he a player. Mm-hmm. But all men don't have those experiences. Mm-hmm. Some men be just 25, 28, 29, just barely start getting pussy. Just 39, barely start 40. getting played for women. So when you're just barely hitting your peak, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then you meet a woman that's good, you feel me? You may not know how to express those emotions or how to carry yourself because you just now get into the things that some of us did when we were in high school. You feel me? And same with women too. You feel me? Some women hit their peak a little later than men or, or, or maybe a little early, but it, it's a give and take. You know, you got to grow with that person and you got to know whether that person is worth growing with. That's, that's the, the part. That's the, that's the part right there. Mm-hmm. I got five less talk says she know when to get off the bus and she didn't. If she didn't get off, uh, then she uh, liked the ride. Then Badass1584 dropped some bombs. I got five less talk. Then again said, no one is better. Uh, give what you want. Why? What? Mm. What, he's, what he's saying is right. Listen, don't wait to respond. Listen twice, speak once. Mm-hmm. And they said facts. <laughs> hey, little mama, I see you. Thank you for tapping in. Kelvin, I see you on Facebook. Thank you so much. So... Tell us in your in your opinion, what is the correct way to love a woman? Patience. Uh, communication. Even at the way that y'all communicate, don't be we communicate through logic. Like we don't really want to talk about fairy tales. Like we don't really want to talk about the I'm just saying, like sometimes y'all con- sometimes y'all conversation don't be interesting. You feel me? We love you. We want to talk to you all day, but when we're talking to you, you're not talking about something that's actually actually interesting. You feel me? It's like a lot of drama. It's a lot of he say, she say. It's a lot of gossip. Like, men don't talk about that. Like, you feel me? We we want to talk about, like, reality. We want to talk about plans. We want to talk about making moves. We want to talk about doing something. We want to talk about what your homegirl did, what your friend at work did. We don't want to talk about um the latest viral video on the internet. Like, we don't care about that. You feel me? So... Our versions of spending time are sometimes offset because we all want to do the same thing, but we're doing it in a different way. You feel me? And men, our attention span is short. When you're talking about something that don't interest us, 
it's hard for us to stay focused. If we're not interested, like we might be interested in you, but if we're not interested in what you're saying, it's like it's hard for us to stay focused and grounded into the conversation. Like, just, just have more interesting topics. You feel? Did he try to low key drop the sound effect? Did y'all yeah. hear it? Did y'all yeah. hear it? It yeah. was very uh, faint they, in the background. He, he, he tried to it. do that so smooth. Yeah. I caught so it, babe. Mm-hmm. I caught it. Hey, too much great. detail. Thank you for tapping in. I wish you was in the studio because this is a conversation for you too. I think you would have um, brought some real good um, perspective into this. I, I know y'all. We we know y'all just want time. You feel me? Y'all don't really care about the. Uh, see, it, okay, this so this is city y'all girl era. No, we want time. Why is time so hard? To because get? y'all don't make the time interesting. I'm lost. So, I'm, I'm, I'm I have sure a question. You, you gotta make the time interesting. I'm just saying though, like we want to spend the time, but if the time ain't fun, okay. So, so, so if if the time that your woman is is bringing to the table is not interesting for you, but you know that this is what she want or need, why don't you then redirect to make this time interesting? Why don't you then say, you know what? Because at the end of the day, you post the lead and we post the follow anyway, right? It's not about so what we're supposed to do. Then we just have all of that how we started the conversation? And steer us in the direction that's going to work. Did, ain't that how we started? Now, concern, now see, that, see, what see, that's what You're we helping talking us. about as men. Enlighten the, pe- enlighten the people. When I first started, I said, sometimes y'all just got to chill. It just oh, go I'm with kidding. the plan. And now, I'm just saying, though. You, I, that's the how I started the conversation. I said sometimes y'all just gotta chill. But these are two different things. No, it's not. It is. This is what I'm saying. You said we're supposed to leave. Well, if I'm telling you, come on, let's go. Let's go get dressed. Let's go somewhere. And you saying, well, I'm, I, I, we don't want to do that because we didn't have so many disappointments. You ain't let me leave. I just told but you. you bounce, those are two different things. No, it's not two different things. It all falls in the same boat. If I'm trying to make, if but I'm trying to, I'm if saying, I'm trying to do something with you and you're not trying to do it because it's not, I'm not doing it your way. Then how is that you let me lead? You let me lead is doing what I said in the first so place. So your answer to what I'm saying is we don't allow you to. That's your answer. No, I'm not saying that you don't allow us to. Y'all just make it hard sometimes. And a lot of men not with the, a lot of men don't want drama. You feel me? Like some men will argue with you. Some men will, uh, will try to find different ways to 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 cater to you and be patient. But some men don't have that kind of patience. You feel me? I'm just saying. Like I, I me. Being the age I am, I have a little bit more patience, you feel me? So I'm able to do that. But when you're dealing with some of these brothers that's a little younger or they might not have as many experiences as I have, they're not going to have that kind of patience. Some of the old ones don't either. I mean, because you got to understand, some of them old ones ain't got them experiences either. Just because you're 50 don't mean you've been getting it, been having it your way. <laughs> just saying, like, they lost. I've been having it my way since a young age. So a lot of men who haven't, they wouldn't understand that. You know, they don't understand how to cater to a woman. They think that should, some men think that me taking you to dinner is tricking. Yep, they do. Because they, they think they spend their money. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to understand? Different. that That's because everything that they have been around has been trick type situations. So we don't need them type of men in our life. That's I mean, but it's a lot of those men. Out, it's a lot of those men out here and you never know until you get to know them. Like, if you walk in the store right now and 10 men get at you, you don't know which one of those ten is, is the right one. I ask it's questions. Just t- I mean, but I men, are, that's the thing about men. They're going to answer those questions at the, the way that. They're going to lie. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. The way you answer your questions on the job application. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yes, I will tell on Tom. I'm telling on Tom. Tom, 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 Tom is stealing, guys. <laughs> that part. They're going to say what you want to hear. You feel me? Okay, look. So, too much detail said when you know what you're into, you're not going to run into what you're not into. Well, I, yeah, I, I don't that agree with that. That was the answer. Everybody would be together. I, I don't do drugs, but I run in the dope things all the time. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I, you know, I don't even be where the drugs at. I ain't a trap in it no more. Like, There's that fairy tale. That's a real good motherfucker. I, I don't point. buy a pussy, but I be around prostitutes you feel all me? the time. I like, got five less talk <laughs> said. I got five less talk said. A woman can lead two. And I, I do agree with that. Yes, however, that's a fact. However, most <coughs> men me. won't allow her to. They feel like um, she's doing too she, much. Yeah, like she's overstepping her boundaries nah. because now you're quote unquote inferior to you're us. You're too manly. Nah, you know nah. Saying? It's different ways to lead, though. 
You feel me? Some women lead and the, the man don't even know she's leading. You feel me? Some women lead with love. Some women lead by, by, how, how can I put this um, in layman's time? I'm just saying, like, some women lead by, not example, but by just doing their stuff, period. You feel me? And that man is going to see that and he'll be inspired if he one of them type. Sometimes y'all want to, sometimes y'all want to, sometimes y'all want a million right dollar, there. sometimes you want a million dollar nigga and your man ain't got no hustle and you know he ain't got no hustle, <laughs> but you trying to make him a million dollar nigga when he ain't got it in him. Like he don't got it in him. He's That's not the, true. he's no, not the get money yet. type dude. You right. might have a squabbler. You might, or you he don't want to be a million dollar man, and that's cool. No, it ain't even that he don't want it. Some men want it, but they can't get it because they're not those types. But we you talking about a, people that's not those types. Yeah, Go for what you want. You don't even have you a can't make somebody with something they don't want. Personality, be. like yeah, it, it, all that, that comes into play. Right. Mm -hmm. that's true. Okay, look, that is a, too uh, much decal said. Um, if a woman recognizes a king, you can be a broke sleeping sleeping on your mama floor, and she will follow your lead. You that is fucking, right. excuse me. You yeah. That is right. all the way that fast. Is, yes, you should have dropped the bomb. Bro. That's I what you should have done. No, no, no. Don't drop the bomb. Drop, drop the bomb. Drop the bomb, but I want to say this also. <laughs> What's up, the king? Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. What if you not a king and she still see a king in you? Because it's a lot of women can she, she, she just see it in you because way, she just, let's she just, just wants you to be that. She loves you. Because a woman sometimes, hey. in real life, the woman is the helpmate, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can sometimes see something that you can and she'll speak life into you. And there'll That's be fair. men that will say, That's fair. I didn't see this in me and now it's there. But here's the key to what you're talking about, the balance. If you want something, you have to push it the right way, what we've mm -hmm. talked about before. And if it's not there, and your guesstimation was wrong, <laughs> back the fuck up, it's not his fault. It's too your late guesstimation was wrong. It's too late by Either way, you can't be mean, but love. you can't yeah. be mean to the person. Yeah. We talked about a, doing when, what's when right. A, when a woman really loves you, she ain't going nowhere. And the same with a man. I thought yeah. the subject was how to properly love a woman. I mean, but, but you said you got to pack up the lead. You feel me? No, I didn't say pack up and leave. You said when you realize that he's not. I said pack up that dream. You can't take it out on that person. Oh, well, pack up yeah, that dream. But... You can't take that out on that person if that's something that you want and it don't happen. Yeah. That's why they ask you questions like, do you love them for who they are today? Because love will take over all of that, hence loving somebody right on the floor. Hey, love. You should work that way. I, I, I personally think in this age that we're living in, I'm just saying right now, this, this day and time that we're in right now, I just don't think love is enough no more. It's not. And the cold part is it could... That love could be strong enough to bring about so many different things, some amazing things, yeah. right? Because cause think about it. Love can bring about inspiration in you, and, you know, it can, it can boost your self-esteem. It can create some type of something in you that'll have you on a whole nother level. When you're loved properly, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, mm -hmm. when you're loved properly, you turn into a fucking superhero. It's a whole I'm superhero trying to tell fan. you, you start doing shit you, you never didn't thought even you knew could do. you could do. Right, that now, part. Because me... either you was a, too afraid to try, yep. or because you felt like it was out of your reach, yep. out of your element. You feel what I'm saying? Or you never felt but that the, type of love. But the person that's loving you come along and show you that support that feel good. and really be there like 100. Maybe. Now I work all the time though. No, we not talking about saying that. No, it's not. I'm just saying though. No, no, like, we it, talking it, about what it can do, and we it, all know that it can. I mean, no, if you it, think it, to yourself no, what it can do, it, it, if you it, think to person. yourself there is something you have done because somebody <laughs> has loved you so yeah. much mm -mm. that you have done it. You lie. You got I, kids. You yeah, got. I'm talking you about lie. You lie. Love feeds into your soul, just like a hug, just like a prayer, just like not with these men. Yes, it can. It depends it who you can. are. I'm gonna tell you, you can bring a man from the bottom, from the bottom of his feet. Get tell. I said, baby, what you want to do? You do everything he say you want to do, and then the motherfucker turn around and say, I don't want to do it. Because that ain't because what he wanted to do. Because that's why what he wanted to do. Y'all are only seeing the negative. So of it. Yeah, like, like, it's like, two sides. No, that goes saying, both ways. I'm like, just saying, you can, do, go you go you can love ways. a man. Like I said, baby, my hair hurt. Baby, have my dinner. You do everything to support this man. For his finance, when he said, baby, I'm down, you pick him back up. Then they turn around, and they scared because I say, a man got to love himself first before he can love anybody. If he don't love himself and have morals, have respect for himself, he can't love you. I don't give a shit what y'all talking about. 
But that's that type of man. There's know. also the man she was talking about. Nah, that's not that's not really true though. Because a lot of men nowadays don't love themselves, but they still love their woman. That whole part. I don't believe that you have to love. There's a lot of niggas out here right now. Like if, if you know if you got any people that's really out in the streets, like a lot of us don't love ourselves like that. that but part. we love our woman. We love our family. We love your kids. We just doing what we do. Sometimes doing. loving somebody else will pull you out of a situation, and we I have been. I love myself. I'm I don't. Yeah. Think, huh. You gotta love yourself. You feel me? But I hate your guts. The, the, a lot of these dudes, a lot of people don't love themselves. A lot of people nowadays out here, and that's men and women, they don't love themselves. Mm, but they, they but up. they do have love for other people though. Yeah, right. yeah, you know? for their family yeah, and stuff and their love. mother. Yeah. I'm have saying you can you can have, have, have love. love. They have love. That part. Having love and loving is two different things. What is love? I got love for a whole lot of motherfuckers that that's I That's why I don't prefer love. you like me than the love. Right now. What is love though? What is love by your standards? Because a lot of us, a lot, a lot of different people have different definitions for what love is. Absolutely. Which so is why that love language too. If good. you want, if right. this is your version of love and this is my version of love and I'm giving you what my version of love is. But that's, that goes back to the conversation that we had a couple of weeks ago. The conversation needs to be, babe, tell me how to love you that properly. That part. Because my definition of love, maybe the way I seen it growing up or the way that I experienced it all this time, maybe that don't equate to love in your life. You right. feel what I'm saying? So that's where the conversation's supposed to come in yeah. at. I should be able to come to you and say, babe, teach me how to love you correctly. Right. So what's teach love me how to communicate words? with you. What's love in your words? In, in, my, in my opinion, love is me supporting you, standing by you, and helping you to in in your journey to becoming whoever it is you're supposed to be in this world, whether that's somebody I like or dislike. This is your journey. You don't even know who the fuck you are or who you're supposed that to become. Part. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But loving you means that I'm willing to be there and support that and help you to the best of my ability. And what is a man loving you? The same is it the same thing? thing? Okay. The What's same you? thing. What's loving me? What love is to me is I support my man. I make sure that he's okay. I make sure the finances is okay. But like I said, like she said, we had to ask them what they want. Mm -hmm. I never had a man take care of me. I always took care of myself. Mm -hmm. So when I get a man, I ask them, are you willing to go with the flow with me? Because it's hard for me to sit back and let a man do everything. And I do have a problem with that because mm -hmm. I do everything. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, you just have to work with me because... I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. I've been on my own ever since I was 14. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so when I get with a man, I tell him, I know sometimes I might want to wear the pants, but if you tell me, baby, slow down, I got this, I could change. But mm -hmm. but what do you mean by wearing the pants? Because some men take that wearing the pants, like they don't even have the right understanding of what that is. Okay, so like, well, I mean, sometimes, like, we go out to dinner, I might say, okay, I got this. And I had to learn that I got to stop doing that yeah. because I'm stepping on the man's battery. So I told him, I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. So you have to give me, just tell me, baby, no, I got this. I can shut up, but it's the way that you talk Help to me, me too. Exactly. Right? You me. can't talk to me with being aggressive because exactly. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to bow down. Right. But if you come to me and say, okay, baby, I got this, let me be a man. But I haven't found that. I haven't found no man that said, I'm going to be a man because there's not too many of them out there. So, but I said, if I can find one like that, I'll give him the world just like he give me the world. Word, word. But it's just hard out here. Hard. So, that's what love means to me. Just, we work together. Because I, I don't mind if you broke and you say, baby, I don't have this. Okay, baby, I got you. Oh, it, I, I don't care about finance. I don't care. I just want you to love me. But you don't, find, you don't find nobody that's to love you. They look it. at me, oh, you want to run everything? No. I want us to do it together. But it's these, they not out there. See, and and, they out here. and let me let they me um let me chime in on what she just said. You heard her say, "I want you to do it with me. I want us to do it together." Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't look at that aspect. Like you feel what oh, I'm yeah. saying? It's it's either, and sometimes it's the man, sometimes it's the woman, but. If you come into this situation and you already see me as a go-getter, a breadwinner, for some reason, in your mind, that translates to I can chill. They mm. got this. 
You feel what I'm saying? And even for and women do the same thing mm-hmm. more than more than men mm-hmm. most of the time. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, this ne- my nigga got it, mm-hmm. and he gonna keep going to get it. I don't gotta do nothing. Mm-hmm. She's expecting you to take care of her. Mm-hmm. She's expecting you to be quote unquote a trick. Mm-hmm. That's what y'all. That's what y'all consider it. Like you that's feel what the, I'm that's saying? The, that's the kids consider. But, but I feel like it again. Like D Town said. D Town said on here. Um. Where that shit at? He said, uh, damn, I can't find it. Damn, he had said it, um, said the same thing I was finna say. Uh, but if if we go into this situation and have that that grown conversation from the jump, like think of that empire that we both dreaming of, nigga, it's ours. If we both keep grinding how we grinding and come together as a unit to push this line, nigga, we won already. Soon as we got together and said this, we doing this together, we already won. You feel what I'm saying? But the problem is, the problem is, like I said, the other party would come into it and get relaxed. They kick back or throw their hands up or throw their hands up like, oh, she got this. I don't got to do nothing no more. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's what one of the biggest problems is with us. That's a fact. I don't disagree at all. I I, I totally 100% agree with that. And um, what's your version? What, what you, what your you version call of love? love? My version of love? Mm-hmm. For me to a man? Both. Oh. A man loving you? From you. me to a man, it is actually being whatever he needs me to be in the season that he's in and learning him so well I can project where he's going to safeguard him just like I want him to safeguard me so that's my definition it's just that simple because it changes it it really do and you're the first one that said that it's like it's a season you feel me relationships is about seasons you feel me like (coughs) Yeah, I don't see relationships like our grandparents had back in the day. No, nah, it's sure like, not like that. It, it, like, like <laughs> we, we don't, we, people don't love like that no more. You feel me? And that's the problem. You yeah. feel me? Like, everyone has such a different definition of what love is. When people don't understand, love is just time. You feel me? And not just spending time. It's going to take time. Investing it's time. investing time. It's like a it, Love is work. It's like work. A it's a love job. It's work. And, it's a job. And you're not always going to love so your job. Many, you're that's not always going to love so your job. so many relationships fail and so many families fall apart because nobody is willing to do the work. Everybody want to exist in this space mm-hmm. without doing anything. Only when it's good. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? That's a fact. They want to reap the benefits mm-hmm. of love mm-hmm. in this space. But they don't want to contribute to it. As soon as it don't serve them, they gone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But see, and that's another thing, reaping the benefits of love. Like, everybody got different versions of what reaping the benefits is. Mm-hmm. Some women think it's, it's a bag. You, t- you taking her out. You pay the bill. Some men just say, hey, whenever I pick up you there and um you... You giving me that whatever that, that gratification that I need. You feel me? Like they don't understand. They have such a minute version uh, uh, or idea of what love is, and that's because that's what they seen growing up. Right. You feel me? You can only sometimes it's hard for you to to do something that you've never seen before. You feel me? What you do is you're 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 just copycatting what you seen growing up. Right. You feel me? Your daddy was a player. Your mama wasn't shit. So you automatically thinking a lot of these women not shit and you should be a player because that's what you've seen. You feel me? Your auntie, um, your auntie, you go over to your auntie house. Her friends is flirting with you. Oh, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. That's my little boyfriend. So now you now you trying to run through the friends. Like, and you teaching your sons and your nephews that's what they supposed to do. Right. Not no, because it's what you've been taught. You feel me? So a lot of us haven't really been taught what real love is. And we're still learning as we're going. But everybody want, expects you to just know on the first day. Like, it, everything's not going to be perfect. You feel me? I done heard women say, oh, he lied to me. I can't ever trust him again. Well, that's sometimes what men do. Like, and that's for no reason at all. You know, we might be at the store not doing nothing. But when you ask us where we're at, we're not going to say we're at the store not doing nothing. We'll say we're at the homie house. Like, it's, it's just because sometimes men don't want to be checked on. It's not that they want to lie to you. Just sometimes they just don't want to report where they're at. You feel me? Like, and that's something that comes from 
how we've been taught. Like, you don't tell nobody nothing. You don't check in with nobody. And as they get older, as they grow within the relationship, they learn to be more truthful. But it's a growing thing. You feel me? And when we got to learn how to grow with you, and you got to learn how to grow with us. It's about listening, communicating. Okay. And once, I get, once again, time. I'm glad that you said that because mm -hmm. my next question is this. When you run across the woman that's willing to learn and she she communicates to you that she want to learn, why is that the woman you run from? Why is that the woman that you then throw throw like, throw this wall up with? I mean, I, I don't have that problem. But I know a lot of men that do, and I have exuded that within my personality before through the years. It's like, Y'all say y'all want to learn, but what we view you as learning ain't that. So Can I have an example? I don't know. Like we, 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 you, you might be pressing too hard. We, so like I said, sometimes a man, we just want you to chill. You feel me? Like sometimes we okay, just but sometimes y'all are too chill. Wait, I was you just gotta meet in the middle. Do I mean, but understand? but it's not that. You serious. can't keep it's saying not as that, a man. It's not that just serious. Like we sometimes. can't keep saying as to you. That's a part of being in a relationship. When you enter, you got to know some of the things that's important to you. She might not see as that important. Yeah. All right, if I but just, she, gone, if she I, should. If I just met you and we're getting to know each other. We're talking about in a relationship. That's the part of a relationship. You got to be friends in the first. Relationship. You got to be friends first. And that's the point. None of us, some of us are never friends first. We just meet you. We, we, we fuck one time. It's good. And now we're together. Okay, can like, we talk we, from we, a perspective of you did all of that and now you're in a relationship? Because we talk. But the relationship about, is still fresh because we never learned to be friends. We never got to know each other. We no, never let's say that happened. Let's say you was friends first and then you got together. Now answer the question again. Oh well, a lot of times it works out. I'm just saying, how does let's, it work out? let's keep it honest. Like okay, a lot of times, it work out? like a lot of times, like me and Queen, me and Queen. Let's let's That's put me in. Okay. We're we gonna put me and Queen out. There. Okay. This is my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. This is my homegirl. We done been on dates and all that. You feel okay. me? But this is my friend. This is my dog. Right. Like, I'm not trying to fuck her and like, 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 hey, queen, like, when you gonna give me the pussy? You ain't giving me no pussy? All right, well, I can't talk to you okay. no more. No, that's my friend. Mm -hmm. And if we end up getting into something, mm -hmm. then cool. Mm -hmm. But that's my friend. She can call me and talk to me about problems she's going through. Okay. I, I can call her and talk about problems I'm going through. But with most situations, once I call you and I tell you about a problem I'm going through, now you don't trust me. Because you feel like I'm fucking with other people instead of you just taking the time to listen and be my friend. You guided me through, helping me navigate through a problem could be the icebreaker that says, hey, this might be the one for me. You feel me? Like, it's certain, it's certain moves that we go through, and we just want you to be but, there the same way you want us to be there. But I think, I think when it comes to that right there, um, the key word in the situation is friend. So as my friend, you can come to me and talk to me about all of those things, and I'm open to hearing it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can receive it, right? Mm -hmm. But if I was your woman, do you think that I could receive Thank the conversation but that, if we... that that is that could be uh, damaging to our relationship or or our bond? Do you think that I would be able to receive that just as good as I right. could as your friend? Right. That expectation no, no, has to change no, just a little no, bit exactly. out of respect. But, so, so then you got to see, because what men fail to realize is y'all think things is, is supposed to go a certain way all, all the, time, the time, no matter the circumstances, yep. no matter what the fuck is going on in the world, no matter the status, this is what the fuck it is all the time. And it don't work like that because where I stand in my own personal life matters. Mm -hmm. What we have together mm -hmm. as as friends matter. Mm -hmm. What we brought into a relationship matters. Who and what is attached to me matters. 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 You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How that's why back to what Asia has said earlier, that's why we can't sit back sometimes and just chill because my life and everything attached to me is riding that on part. my next move that this part. is not chill that zone part. for me my that nigga right, so look. when you come in here into that space because this is where i am in my life i gotta respect your space mm -hmm. you gotta respect the space right. that you chose to walk into right. as my man right, right? This not the chill zone, my nigga. Right. I'm going to need you to press the gas. Right. And as my man, as the man, you might need to take the lead a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? 
And if you and, and if you come into that space and still expect me to let you chill, that's a problem. Can I give you a real life example? Give me an example. Before you go. Okay? Give me an example. Me and my husband, mm -hmm. we was friends for years before exactly. we got married, right? But let me tell you, me as his friend was different than me as his girlfriend, right? And he has two that's kids, two baby mamas, right? When we got married, I told him, your girlfriend is not your wife. Because as a girlfriend, because I knew my place, I didn't insert myself in those those situations with him and the baby mamas. I stayed out of it because out of respect, that's a woman. I don't know what y'all talking about, right? I didn't care about his finances, meaning blow that whole check. I don't care. When we got married, not only did I take the lead and say, here's what my bank account looks like. Here's what my inbox looks like. Here's what my behavior looks like. Because this is really me. I have to expose all of me. I got to mm -hmm. be vulnerable, right? After we got married, I absolutely care what they are saying to you. I absolutely care what you're doing with your money because now it's us. It's us. Exactly. So that's where we're saying through the different things you build upon the friendship so you can know the real person. Mm -hmm. But you have to step into the, the marriage or relationship, you being completely vulnerable. Because now guess what? I know where you fuck up because I'm your friend. You know where I fuck up, but that's that safe space because I know this already. So we stepping in it together. All right, now she said she was married, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these relationships ain't nowhere near marriage. Not at all. Like I just met you. She but, you I just met you. No, listen, that part. part. It, it, ain't, it, ain't, part. it ain't at all. Like the marriage, ain't, marriage ain't nothing like, and that's what I meant earlier. Like. But let's we don't stay love like Granny and topic. Grandpa used we to. We trying to talk about the so way that things more. go when they supposed to, <laughs> so much more. and then it how you answer time. Right. When I meet you and we jump into the relationship, like let's not just start talking about the relationship act like we three four years in. No, right. let, let's start from the beginning. But you gave an example of y'all being friends, right? Yeah, we, so we already my pulled, girl. My we dog already right pulled up. So if y'all go into the relationship, if you and whoever mm -hmm. you would a friend with pull into the relationship, you telling me you can't understand. Her initial statement in saying, yes. I can't sit back at night. Yes. Can we just but, answer but, that but, first but, and yes, you say yes? Because yes, it's real. Yes. That is a real thing. I do understand, but that's because you've seen it. This is you've what we're it. saying. But a lot of people not giving it. It's talking like a lot of people. We're talking see. about those of us that do try to do the right thing. I mean, we're talking about relationships. We can't just talk about those of us. Because we already talked about them. Can't can we talk? The I'm saying, like, it takes time. It takes time. That's right. But we talked about those now. We talked, it takes about time. Those. we talked about those ones already. Now let's talk about the other ones for the last 10 minutes. I mean, well, if we're talking about those, we really don't need that to speak on because they're doing something right. If they're working, they're doing no, something right. No, you still don't have bumps. Of course. That's what a relationship is. And a relationship is yeah. it's never going to be perfect. It's right. never going to be the Brady Bunch right. and, and mm -hmm. the Porsche's family. It's never going to be that. The, 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 the Huxtables, like, like we argue, we fight. You feel me? Sometimes I don't want to look at you. Sometimes you don't want to look at me. Sometimes yeah, I don't want to hear you in my ear. I don't want you asking me questions. You feel me? But as a man, I still got to do my job. Whether I hate you today or not, I still got to do my job. And whether you hate me today or not, you still got to do your job. But that's where a lot of people lack at. You feel me? They think that just because I don't like you today, I don't got to do my job. And us as men, once we see that, we gone. Mm -hmm. As you should be, we gone. Because if we fighting and we married, if somebody come in or you need something, I'm supposed to put that to the side. Get what you need. We can argue later. Sweet but love's supposed to overcome Sweet that. Sweet twenty five said, "Well, first a man has to understand the role and position he plays. But men test women a lot before making a commitment. Women, on the other hand, fantasize what they want their man to be. Huge differences. But both have to know how to be a friend." Can, can I can I just say something real fast? That was a woman was speaking, right? Yes. How are you gonna tell us what we need to do if you ain't us? The same way we can't tell you what you need to do. All you can do is give all you can do is give us advice of what you think we should do. But like as a man, I can't tell you what you need to do to love me. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta love me your way, and I gotta. No, 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 no. no listen, listen, no, that's what listen, the, listen, 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 listen. That's what the love language book is about. Listen, listen what I'm saying. No, listen, you love people the way they want to be loved. Listen what I'm saying. 
it's too many women these days trying to tell men what real men are. And, and you gotta men let. Too. And that's my point. As we a man, as a man, I can't tell you what you should be doing as a woman. To love you. To love you. Yes, no, you no, do. No, no, You're no, the only no, one that can no, tell no, me. No, no, no. I'm the only bitch you? that can tell a nigga listen, what listen, to do. To in love my me, life. right? You don't get to just come listen, into yeah. my life and do whatever, however. Listen, I am the perfect what, what, person. But you to just said earlier we have to learn how to listen. Not, not to. I'm not. But see, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean by y'all thinking that I'm? I'm not saying. Me tell you how to love me. I'm saying she just said, as a man, you got to know. Like, as a man, we don't know that. That's the point of learning. That's the point of us spending time and learning that. Like I said earlier, a lot of men haven't had these experiences to where they're even qualified to be in a real relationship and to say they're in love. But because how many they don't, say that they don't? They'll go in like they know everything and they course, don't want to. Y'all do too because that because we're trying to make it work. That's that's part but of it. But you're not making it work. She that's why she probably fussing so much because you're not listening when she right. asking for something or saying something. Nobody is listening. Everybody only wants what they need. But that's she not said, it. See how these men wait. Right. She said, see you how got defensive. <laughs> Well, that, that was defensive. That was defensive. That yeah. has been proven. He was just talking. That was Shut defensive. Up. <laughs> was I wasn't Shut defensive. Up your face. Look, look, well, Queen, excuse, excuse me, right. Queen. Right. I'm not defensive at all. You're just, what I'm just doing is giving you answer. an opinion. You feel me telling you what I see. I see a lot of young women out here telling men, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. And these men don't have the they haven't been trained to do that the same like these women they haven't been trained like a lot of women want a 1950s boyfriend but they're not a 1950s woman you feel me i'm just saying the 50s right? is dead we, but you want a man but that. you you want a man who yeah, does all the chivalrous you don't want tell me what i want i didn't say things. i wanted that <laughs> that's what i'm saying you, you, you want a you want a man that's who, what you just did to yeah. her you, you want to tell me what I want. The shiverous things and all these things, but then when they do, but I'm also about you downplay them and say that they that they're a trick. But and you got to do what's good for you in your relationship. Every exactly. woman don't want that. Just like I'm a whole ass boss, I could take care of myself financially. What I want for you is to be a partner, and I want you to love me. That's it, and love me the way I want to be loved, not the way you did it for so many other people, and they loved it because Thank if so Jesus many other people worked, you would have been with them. Without. Just like I can't say that, right? Mm. I would never tell somebody you ain't a man if I wouldn't say that because the shit is not right. I don't know how to be this perfect woman to everybody, That's so right. it's not right. We all need to change our verbiage. Then mm. I think we would be received better and stop being defensive too. If you know what they mean, chill on all of that and get the meat from the conversation and lead the bones. We all need to start being more responsible and accountable. That's at the yeah, end of the day. That's true. I'm not defensive at all. I'm, I am. Everybody's I'm, passionate. I'm, I'm very. I'm very. There's comfortable. something you can say to trigger I'm me very right now. We all. In my life, I didn't. I didn't have so many. I didn't have so many wonderful experiences. Ter terrible experiences. You feel me? I'm not defensive on nothing. I'm just like I said. I, that's how men talk. You feel me? Y'all. Mm -hmm. People are so quick to say we're defensive. Like and because you're talking talk different right now than you did then. You was passionate, sir. I mean, but I mean, it's if okay. I can't be, if I get passionate, then you it. say that I'm defensive. I'm gonna calm down because I don't want to be defensive toward women. So if, uh, I'm already gonna calm down. That's yeah. what a, I, I'm a man. You feel me? I don't ever want to offend no woman and have her thinking I'm coming at her too. Me. That I'm coming at her too strong. You understand what I'm saying? So it, anytime a woman said, "Oh, you defensive," or you come. At me, I'm, I'm gonna calm down. Chocolate, you feel me? You be but I'm not defensive. You feel me? Like, yeah, I, I, we don't lay down. Well, yeah, like, she said men yeah. should have been like, my they don't. it's a lot of things they should have learned, but they don't listen. Mm -mm. Okay, so listen, y'all. I don't know if we ever gonna get through the how to love a woman. That part, no. The how to love we a can. Man, it always turns into what we doing. It always turns into what we doing. It always turns into what we doing. It's not possible. I mean, you I mean, right? I, I, since that, but see, I would like what to you said. That's that's, that. a, that's the exactly. truth. Also, I keep saying that. I thought you this can. was the topic because they all want so many different. They don't even love themselves. That's a fact. Also, if you and they don't know what love is, they don't love themselves. Drop the napalm bomb. The atom bomb. So listen, y'all. We might fuck around and still be on this damn. Oh, we are till we get some answers. Look, look, this is this we is a whole year. We passing this by. We really we had in answers. that conversation. We learned some shit and all we that did. when it came to loving a man. But we can't get no kind of yep. nothing with these. Dudes we tried our best not to come back, but y'all, but y'all. Mm -hmm. But we, we know what you want. Y'all want time? Oh, we know what you want. We know what you want. I'm sick of your shit. We have all that. 
that. We know what you I'm want. The love, the patience, all that. We, we, we give that. We, we want to give you that. Rub, but when we give it, we, you don't think we want to do that? Hell no. Nah. Rubbing your feet, rubbing your head, Hell what does nah. that mean to? When you come home from work, okay, say for So of course we gonna do that. We do Hell that automatically. No, they when don't. we ain't your man, we do that. Shit. No, they don't. They be sitting there talking shit. You gonna be rubbing and crusty ass. Oh, well, Ooh, that's your no. seat then. That's your you seat. You got crusty ass feet. Don't be crusty. Don't be, no, listen, don't be mad because your man don't want to rub your feet. No, I got pretty crusty. Don't get a pretty girl. Yeah, like, I don't see your feet crusty. I ain't rubbing your feet. I see Lily. Yeah, put the boots on. Listen, listen. Okay, so I'm going to say this. With this question, um, Chocolate Hazelnut Infinity said, "Ask you that name. when and how." Oh, when and how did learn? Chocolate Hazelnut. How infinity? How and when? I mean, when and how do men learn? Um, all men learn different ways. Some men learn by experience. Some men learn through hurt. Some men, some men learn when you leave them. Some men learn when you. Jesus some, Christ. No, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm leaving. That's all experience. Some men I'm learn leaving. by di- some men learn in different ways. You I feel think me? I'm leaving. So tonight. what works for one man might not work for the other. You feel me? So it's, it's a lot of different ways. You gotta have. But you have a thousand men. But if you leave, he's gonna learn for the next woman. No, no, he's not, not always. Not always. Learn. Not always. If they boys actually tell him that when they know, no, no, because they care respect. About that. Yes, you do. We don't care about yes, that. Yes, you do. We don't care about what your boys say. Why do you think we always say we are trying to impress them out there and impress us? Yes, y'all do. Okay, so look before we close the show, y'all. Before we close the show, um. First of all, if y'all want to see this this show continue and support us and all of these different things. Y'all like what's going on here at True Talk. I'm going to need y'all support, okay? Y'all can donate through Cash App at True Talk with Queen. And, um, yeah, right, make right sure right. we got it popping, okay? Because, right listen, right. we doing some real shit, some necessary shit on this show, okay? But we, I can't do it all by myself, y'all, okay? So I'm going to need y'all to start tapping in with me and help us with style, okay? Only if you finding value in this, though. If you if you coming on True Talk and it's really um, helping your life in some type of way, it's speaking to your situation, yeah, look out for your girl, okay? And um, also, make sure you're following Melanie Madam Inc. on Instagram. Follow Delta's Mojo on Instagram. And uh, where do they find you, King, for apparel, music, and all of the above? Uh, for music... Tap in YBMF two four seven on Instagram, YBMF topic on um, on YouTube, YBMF on all streaming platforms, or Royal Cloth Clothing on Instagram for the and clothes. I got it on you feel too. We gonna get you fly. We gonna get you dripping. You feel me? Oh yeah. Jesus! Support well, I need to buy a whole bunch of them. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And once again, black women, um, I just want to say I'm speaking for all black men right now. You feel me? We love y'all. You feel in me? Your own we way. we no nah, no, nah, it's not no in our own way. Back. We love y'all. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The real ones do. Uh, it's a lot of these. It's a lot of these men out here. You feel me? I, I'm talking to the black women. I don't know who else want to hear. Uh, much respect to all y'all, the Spanish, the white, the Chinese. I'm talking to the black women. We love y'all. You feel me? But it takes that. time. Well, thank you. We thank still you. learning how to love you. A lot of we didn't grow up seeing love all the time. You feel me? We didn't grow up seeing men love their woman. We didn't grow up seeing women women love their man. You feel me? Our grandparents been dead. That was the last ones. But we love y'all. We appreciate, uh, we appreciate you for thank that. You. Um, y'all make sure y'all tap in with us, okay? Next Sunday, same time. Oh, and it's your girl birthday tomorrow, like happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday to happy birthday to happy birthday. I tell y'all how old I am. Just know that I'm twenty-one. Just know that I'm young, fly, and flashy. Okay. Fifty-two. See y'all next week. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we had a good, good show. We love y'all. Good show. We love y'all too. There's it's a lot of men out here that they don't know what love is. Say good night. Thank they, you. They, they, they didn't see it. They didn't go up seeing it. I love y'all so much, okay? I'm going to tap back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And y'all tap in with us. Tap in. So we're going to be back tomorrow. You feel me? Hit me at the pop up in Hollywood. We about to head out there right now. You feel me? We gonna be right in front of. I'm just wrapping it up.
We're gonna be right in front of secrets tonight. You feel me? So pop up. We have a pop up tonight. Royal Claw Clothing. Come get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accelerated Radio. Bro, bank it. Miss Asia. Right, bank, bank. Feel me? Tap in with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next week? Yep. Yeah.